This is the right side, so the head would be here, and they have the ribs. Yeah. Okay, so you have the aorta, which has the bulbous aorta, which is on the left side, which is in the aorta ascendant. There's the arteria canaria dexter. This is the right side. Yes, I'm just in here. Dexter and sinistra. Then you have arcus aorta which goes into the um, aorta descendens um, and then the aorta thoracis and then abdom abdominalis which is a continuation. So you have truncus brachiocephalicus and the arteria subcavicula sinistra on the other side yeah. and then dexter. Then you have truncae diacroticus. which has two parts, it has a um, arteria carotibus communis dexter and sinistra. Sorry, that's de uh, dexter and sinistra. Um, so the um, arteria subcavicular will divide, so you have truncus costo cervicalis, which runs dorsally. Oh yeah, which is that? Yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah. This little yeah. one here. Yeah. Um, and arteria intercostale suprema. Yeah which runs dorsally to the first intercostal space. You have arteria scapularis dorsalis, which runs to the withers. Can't see it on this side. It's, it's, it's on this side. Okay. <laughs> you can see it like here. It's not here. Um, arteria cervicalis profunda. In the cavity, in the vertebrae. Profunda. No, no it's down here. Oh, shit, sorry. It's this, isn't it? No, it's the, um, profunda, superficial. Profunda, yeah. Profunda, and then um, arteria cervicalis superficialis. Uh, you have the arteria vertebralis, which runs along the cervical vertebrae through the foramen transversarium. You have the um, arteria subcavicular, which goes into the atria, arteria axillaris. Um, it then supplies the thoracic limb. And then you have the arteria thoracis interna. And on here you can only see the ramus intercostalis ventralis. 